Okay, hello. <laughs> Lance and Teresa, uh, when I was thinking of a wedding gift for you, I'm going to give you something early. So I was at the library and I found a book. It's Bill Cosby's book of, of advice on love and marriage. <laughs> he, uh, he, I, I, looked, I looked through and he seems to know a lot about women. <laughs> I'm going to give this to you guys. And you can go through it when you guys have any relationship problems, you just open it up and he's got the he's got the answers for you. Okay. Lance is uh, really good at public speaking and he never like reads anything, but uh, I'm not, so I'm going I'm gonna have this cheat sheet and uh, read it. Okay. Well, I honestly can't believe the day Lance is getting married is actually here. And I really can't believe that Kara beat him to it. <laughs> so, uh, for, you, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Lance's older brother, Kyle. Lance has always been my little brother and my first real friend. Ever since I can remember, Lance and I shared a room growing up, and looking back on time, even I'm a little surprised by how well we've always gotten along. <clears throat> especially considering that our interests were always very different. In a lot of ways, I thought of Lance as my older brother, and not just because he looks so much older than me. <laughs> but Lance has always been good at everything I wasn't good at, which is a lot of things. One time, while I was growing up, Lance crawled into the tunnel of a storm drain with a neighborhood friend, and I remember thinking, wow, my brother is the bravest person I know. <laughs> We always did so much together. Growing up, we always went to school together, and I can still picture him passing me in the halls of our elementary school on his way to speech class because he had a speech impediment. <laughs> and he had a little white and black notebook he used to carry, and he would be so proud of when he got stickers in it if he did a good job. <laughs> Growing up, Lance always went out of his way for me. I want to publicly thank him for all the times he let me borrow money, knowing perfectly well he would never see that money again. One time, when we were both much younger, I wanted to go protest the circus that was in town, but I didn't want to go by myself, so I asked Lance if he would please come with me. I'm sure it's the last thing in the world that he wanted to do on a Saturday morning, but he said sure. So I'll always remember Lance standing beside me with our makeshift protest signs, which Lance used as a cover to eat the chicken McNuggets he was eating for lunch. <laughs> so while circus patrons yelled insults at us, I felt okay because my brother was there by my side. He always did things for me that I knew he didn't want to do. I would ask him things like, Hey Lance, I found a pregnant cat on Craigslist that I want. <laughs> Will you drive with me to some stranger's house in Rawway to pick her up? And he would always begrudgingly agree. Lance has always had my back. He even stopped eating at Chick-fil-A after they came out against gay marriage, which I knew was like a knife through his heart because he loves Chick-fil-A. <laughs> he even slept outside of a Chick-fil-A once to get cheap free chicken sandwich coupons. <laughs> after gay marriage became legal, I'm not sure who was happier, me or Lance, that he could eat at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> We always went to school together, growing up, until high school, when he was relocated to another school where he met so many of his friends, which he's still friends with today, and are his groomsmen. So starting in high school, my brother had a long string of girlfriends, which would always be introduced to us around the holidays, to ensure as many family members as possible could be introduced to them as quickly as possible. <laughs> This became a problem when we would have to take Christmas or Thanksgiving family photos and you would have to gently suggest that the girlfriend should be on the end of the group shot. <laughs> one time, one of the girls said to me, do you just want me to stand on the end in case you have to cut me out in case Lance breaks up with me? I would say, no way, are you crazy or something? And she said, the lighting over there is really working for you. And then came Christmas time when we would have to find 
Christmas presents for Lance's girlfriends. Always trying to find some tired re-gift we could give them. And they would say things like, yeah, next year me and Lance will probably spend the holidays with my family. And I remember thinking, mm-hmm. I'm sure you will. Knowing perfectly well that they wouldn't be around next year. Sometimes I would ask Lance, how's your girlfriend so-and-so? And he would say, who? <laughs> and then my dad would like to play a game called, you tell me what you dislike most about Lance's girlfriend, and I'll tell you what I dislike most about Lance's girlfriend. I knew very early on that Teresa was something very special because my dad couldn't think of anything he didn't like about Teresa. Besides that she lived in Connecticut. <laughs> so when Lance first told me about Teresa, I was very confused because it wasn't even anywhere near the holidays. <laughs> so that caught us all off guard. We all liked Teresa from the very first time we met her. Probably for the past 10 years, whenever I would say my prayers, I would always pray for Lance and Kara's future spouses wherever and whoever they were. I've also been buying baby outfits for about 10 years for when they would have kids, and they've just been sitting in my drawers. I've always felt kind of strange to pray for people who you didn't know, and now it's a surreal feeling to actually know the people who you prayed for all those years and have them be part of your family. When Lance first told me he was going to ask Teresa to marry him, I started crying. I think that was the first time in my life I actually cried tears of happiness. I felt so crazy crying in the middle of a public restaurant, and I'm pretty sure the other customers there thought he was breaking up with me. Lance, I'm amazed, I'm amazed watching you go from a totally carefree guy to a devoted fiance and stepdad to Luca and Enzo, who you obviously love so much. I'm so happy that they will be part of our family too. And as for Teresa, I've never seen anybody go through so much and, being, and always be in a good mood and smiling. I have a late lunch and I'm a grouch. <laughs> my parents would always tell me and my siblings every time we would get into a disagreement, you know who's going to be at your 70th birthday party? Not me and your mom. The people who will be at your 70th birthday will be Lance and Kara. Me and your mom won't be there, they would say. All of the friends you have now probably won't be there. But the people who will be there are your brother and sister. So Lance, you can go on and get married and move away and be a dad and have children and do all the adult things that you want to do. But no matter what, you'll always be my little brother with a speech impediment. <laughs> And I'll always have your back. Always. And God willing, I'll be waiting for you at your 70th birthday party. So, I'd like to make a call to you and your little family.